What's going on guys? More Medic One here. Today we're working on a John Deere Gator. Let me give you a little backstory. Uh, I came out about two weeks ago for a no start and the battery was graveyard dead. It had like maybe one or two volts in it. I replaced the battery. Okay, so we're good there. I tested the charging system, put the new battery on, tested the charging system, and we're good to go. Had 14 volts with the engine running. I've got a 12 volt battery charger hooked to the battery now, this new battery, charging it up. And I was just checking voltage and it's putting uh, 13.8 into there on automatic mode. It's putting about, nine amps in it so this battery was pretty dead but what i want to do is i want to test for a draw parasitic draw uh, possibly something causing this battery to run down with the key off nobody using it that's the complaint it he comes out uh you know two or three days later and the battery is just graveyard dead so let me show you how to use your voltmeter in to basically make a loop to test your system for a uh, parasitic draw. Now, when you are doing this test, you wanna kinda know what your meter can handle. Some meters don't have it written on there, but this one can only go to 10 amps DC for an amp draw test. So we're gonna move our lead over here to amps. And we're going to make a loop. We're gonna put the negative probe to the negative to the battery and we're gonna put the positive probe to the negative battery cable. So basically we're just, it's gonna complete the circuit but it's gonna go through the meter to see if we got anything drawing off of this machine, electric wise. Okay, with my negative battery cable disconnected, I have my red probe to the cable itself. And I'm going to go to the battery here. As we can tell, we have zero amps draw. Now, let's test something. Let's do the same test with just the ignition on. Nothing. Now, let's do the same test with the headlights on. Headlights are off right now because the battery cable is not hooked up. But once we use our meter and we touch the cable or touch the battery, we should see somewhere around eight amps. Seven, seven, eight, somewhere in there. As we can tell, I'm gonna, the lights are on. I'm gonna disconnect the probe. The lights went off. So we don't have an issue with the ignition switch and the lighting circuits working. So honestly, I don't know what's going on here. I can't get the truth out of this guy. Uh, I'm thinking maybe they're, they're leaving the key on, maybe they're leaving the lights on and not knowing it. But there's one other test that I wanna do is I wanna see uh, how much or how many amps the charging system is actually putting out on top of you know your 14 volts. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to just hold the battery cable to the battery and I'm going to crank the motor. Now, if your engine has a fuel solenoid, which this one doesn't, once you disconnect the battery, uh, your, your engine's probably gonna die. But let's just go ahead and get this thing cranked up and I'm going to disconnect the negative cable and do the same test with my meter and that should tell us how many amps is being put into the battery from the charging system on the machine itself. 
let's just say you did have an amp draw with the machine, everything turned off and you have your meter hooked up and you're registering uh, amps. The way you can eliminate the circuits is to pull the fuse. Once you start pulling fuses until your meter reads zero. So, okay, I cranked the motor, the battery cable is disconnected. Now you've got to be careful depending on the amperage of your charging system. If, if, if your charging system is a 20 amp system, you're going to have to put a DC shunt in here and uh, so you don't blow your meter up. But we're just going to test it here. I'm going to put my probe on there and hopefully that it makes good enough contact. And at idle, we're only putting out about 1.3 amps at 14 volts. But I'm going to up the RPMs and then watch the... I mean, we're just, just above idle. We're pumping out 10 amps really quick. So I don't want to go above just an idle. I don't want to ruin the meter. So we don't have any uh, parasitic, you know, amp draw while the machine is just sitting. Um, it's, it's not even trying to register on the meter. It's, it, there's none. I mean, and there shouldn't be. And so whenever I put a load on the system, you saw when I turned the lights on, uh, it was putting about seven amps through the system and the charging system is working. So why is the battery going dead? Well, the, uh, there's just a couple scenarios. Um, you're either cranking this thing uh, just to the point to where the starter is running the battery down. Keep in mind, it's only a 230 amp battery. Uh, yeah, 230 amp hour battery. And uh, he, I, I'm at a loss because, I, you know, as a technician, I want to be able to diagnose something. And I've done my diagnostic checks and everything checks good. So why is the battery running down? I don't know. And maybe they're leaving the keys and the lights on. But if you just leave the key on, it's not gonna run the battery down. So I'm at a complete loss here. I'm gonna charge this battery up and I'm gonna ship it and uh, just tell them to, uh, <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, guys, uh, heck, maybe one of y'all are smarter than me and have worked on these before and had this same issue. But it's it's baffling because like I said, there's, there's just no draw. Everything's good to go. Uh, the only thing that I could maybe possibly do is run this thing around here. I, like I, I mean, when I put the battery on the first time, I ran it around the facility and I actually drove it around the, the track here. Uh, I probably drove it four times around the track, which is two miles. I mean, it, I mean, it got you know, the engines hot and everything and got put back here in the, uh, the container that it sits in and checked the voltage and it was good to go. I, I, I'm not, I don't get it, but anyway, guys, at least you got <laughs> some tutorial on how to do an amp draw on an engine, uh, whether it be Kawasaki or Briggs or even a car, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll keep you all updated and posted on this. And if something arises out of this, that maybe we'll come back out here and uh, figure something out. But anyway, y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.